The FIFA Women's World Cup reports were supported by Premium Trust Bank. The girls have about um, six days to their next game, so uh, I think the coach found it worthy to give them a, deserve, a deserving rest because they have really worked hard, you know, during the group stages of um, this um, tournament, training every day and um, having, you know, intensive programs. Um, before for the three matches that they've played so far. So it only made sense that they took out today no hard training just to visit, um, you know, a very beautiful site here uh, in the outskirts of Brisbane to cool off and have, you know, some other non-football activity for themselves. However, the chat uh, we're having with them, so it's like um, there's that awareness, um, first of all, because, I mean, we saw them before the match, but there's that awareness that there's a possibility they could, play England and it's like, all right, we're up to it. We came into this tournament with um, an underdog feeling. You know, everybody um, felt that, I mean, we're the team to beat. Um, we are the team that can't amount to much. So it kind of helped them to know that they had to fight for every point that they would get. So for the girls, it's like, we really fought to be where we are. And um, if we continue, you know, doing the things we're doing even better, we can actually get a win against the European champions and, you know, progress further. So it's like they're not settling for less simply because it's England. Well, Debbie is not injured. Debbie had a red card situation. And uh, I think a few days after um, FIFA reviewed that decision and gave her a strict three-match ban. So she's going to be out for the round of 16 also. The FIFA Women's World Cup report was supported by Premium Trust Bank.